Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, before we start, I have a very special announcement. Um, earlier, I went on to my channel to uh, answer some comments that you guys left, and I noticed that for the first time, I have over 10,000 views on my videos, and um, that's really exciting for me, and thanks for um, the support and for all the comments you've been giving. Those really helped me um, determining in determining what I should make my next tutorial on. So that's definitely a reason to celebrate. Okay, moving on. So, um, as I was saying, I kind of take a lot of information from your comments. I've been noticing that lately people have been leaving a lot of comments about brushes, how to make them, how to download them, where to get them. And so I thought I'd make a couple videos uh, focusing specifically on brushes. So for this first video, I'm going to show you how to download someone else's brushes off the internet and use them in GIMP. In order to do that, first you need to find them. And um, there's a really a lot of sites on the internet where you can get brushes. Basically, if you just Google, like, GIMP brushes, you'll find a lot. You want to make sure that wherever you are, it's always um, GIMP. Make sure it's GIMP, because Photoshop does not have the same brush extension, so they won't work in GIMP. So, um, I'm going to show you one of my personal favorite sites for brushes. And it's called blendfoo.com. And I'm going to post a link to this in the sidebar, so you can look for that. And this has a lot of brushes. Um, pretty much what you do is you just go to this keyword search thing on the side, you type in what you want. So today I'm going to do, let's see, how about just like circle. And stuff will come up. Uh, you can just click on one. And wait for it to load. Now here, we ha it came up with this. And these are some circle brushes. And um, if you come down here to this brush snaps thing, it'll show you all the brushes that you'll be downloading. And I think those are pretty cute. Um, so I'm going to go up. And make sure you click on GIMP, not anything else that it has up here. GIMP. If you click on that, it should start downloading. And um, what you want to do is open that up. So I'm going to do show in folder. And that will be a zippered folder. So um, if you've had any, any experience with zippered folders, it basically like compresses stuff into a little um, folder so it's, it's easier to download, doesn't take as long. Um, but in order to use files, you need to extract them. Plus, also, they need to be in the right folder to be used in GIMP. So here's my folder right here. Um, I'm going to do extract all. If you have a Windows computer, this is how it should work. I'm not sure about Mac. But um, do browse. Um, then you want to find the folder. So for me, I'm going to go to this GIMP, kind of like what we did with patterns in, the, in a couple of videos ago, and then go to brushes. Click OK, and then hit extract. And just wait for that to work. Shouldn't take very long, depending on how many brushes. All right, we're good. So then I'm going to go back to GIMP. And I'm going to, if you go to your brushes dialog here, um, if you scroll through your brushes, you probably don't have as many as me. But um, you'll see it's not in there anywhere. So, But what you need to do in order to view it is click this little refresh arrow circle thingy and wait for them to refresh. And then I'll load any new brushes that you've just downloaded. So, I'm going to go down. And um, there's not really any particular rhyme or reason to the brushes. Um, you just kind of have to search around. Or you can type in the picture, I mean, the name in there if you know it. Um, in this little uh, editor on the paintbrush. So go to paintbrush. Um, and then, if this is set on RGB, then you'll be able to use the brush just like you use any other brush. All right, and if you want to move on to the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to um, how to ma start making your own basic brushes on GIMP. 